What was he, Colonel? Oh, an engineer. English. Shot down by patriots. Looks like plain murder to me. Yeah. The men who do this haven't the courage to face anyone. Unless they've got a gun in their hands. Well, there's the answer. Stop guns getting to places like this before the damage is done. Oh, Brady, we do our best. But the gun runner is the most vicious of all of them. He doesn't even press the trigger. All he does is to sell arms to a bunch of fanatics who haven't got the legal right to buy them. Tell me, how do they get the weapons in this particular case? Do you really want to know? Yeah. All right. Miss Fleming. Mr. Brady. How do you do, Mr. Brady? How do you do? Am I glad to have you with me? Not so fast, Miss Fleming. I haven't even told him yet. I don't get it. What's going on? Well, you see, it's like this. Oh, please, let me. <laughs> I just got back from the Mediterranean, Mr. Brady, from Bay Akeem. It's a pocket-sized state, but they've caused an awful lot of trouble. I was sent out there with an international commission to investigate accusations of gun running. I happen to read about it. Your commission found no evidence. Oh, believe me, Brady, they're selling guns, all right. Can you prove this, Miss Fleming? Oh, no, if I could, it would be in the report. No, I can't prove it. That's why I'm going back. You are? The point is, I need your help. Badly, in Bay Akeem. You need me? Well, I need a friend. And there's no friend like an invisible one. Now, let's get this straight, Miss Fleming. You've been serving on an international commission to investigate gun running, right? Right. And the commission found in favor of this place, Bay Akeem. But you disagreed. That's true. Now you want to go back to prove you're right, with no authority. And you want me to go with you? I don't give a darn for red tape, Brady. Those people are selling guns, and guns do this. You coming with me? Yes, I'm coming with you. I gambled on that. I've got a flight book, special charter plane. Oh, and travel invisible. No one needs to know. Oh, I'll get them this time. This time I'll have eyes in the back of my head. <laughs> We were very surprised to see you again so soon, Miss Fleming. But, um, please, I trust. Of course. You like these rooms? Yes, they're quite all right, thank you. You are. Yeah. This time we'll give you two, as you ask. Thank you. Oh, and what about the car that I ordered? At the front of the hotel. Good. Oh, I nearly forgot. There is a visitor waiting for you downstairs. Monsieur Sardi. Well, I'm honored. Ask him to come up. Yes, madame. Oh, you hear that, Brady? <laughs> Sardi's the Minister of Customs and Export. Uh-huh. I see. Oh, things are going to move a lot faster now that I'm on my own. Yeah. Any reason why you should call? The honor of his country is at stake. Come in. My dear Miss Fleming, welcome to our little country once more. Uh, this time you are not diplomatic? Uh, no. Just a simple visitor? Just a simple visitor with a simple American passport. Yes. I come to tell you, Miss Fleming, that we were very hurt at what you said in your report. Well, I had to say what I thought. Very unfriendly. Oh, nothing rotten in the state of Bay Akeem, eh, monsieur? Trifles, Miss Fleming, trifles like any other country. But gun running? No, no, that's too despicable. Anyway, I should be the first to hear of it. Well, if you do hear anything, you, you'll pass the information on to me, won't you? You're sincere, and I admire you for it. But you're hot-headed, and you may make enemies. 
Miss Fleming, if you are in any trouble, please come and see me. I will be able to help you. Thank you, monsieur. Goodbye. Goodbye. So that's the Minister of Customs, huh? Good afternoon, Mr. Zardy. Good afternoon. There goes Sardi. Hmm. What do you think of him? He seemed pretty concerned for your safety. Maybe he's right. You have enemies here. Well, if I have, it's for only one reason. Somebody's running guns. Well, don't bother to knock. Come right in. Miss Fleming? That's right. I, uh, seem to be popular here. You are wrong, Miss Fleming. There's an aircraft leaving in a half an hour. So what? Uh, you will be on it. Just uh, close the door after you, mister. Take your things and get out. I, uh, I see what you mean. What is the matter? Oh, don't you open the door for a lady? matter of interest. Who sent you here? No, I can't myself. Try again, mister. Who sent you? Stop. Who sent you? No. Stop. Who sent you here? Stop. Stop. Arosa. Arosa, he sent me. Arosa? Manager of Citrus Export. Yes. Yes, this is the truth. I'm going to surprise you, mister. I believe you. Now, take my advice and... Go to the country for a few days, mister. You do this to me? You, a mere woman? You stay where you are. Saudi was right. You've got enemies. Yeah, looks like it. Ah, let's see who it is. Hassan Malia, truck driver, Citrus Export Company. Maybe we'd better tie him up and keep him here, eh? That'll keep Mr. Molly out of harm's way. You know, I think we'd better get down to the export office before the rest of the day shift shows up. Do you know where it is? Sure, they showed it to us when I was here on my official visit. But this time, they won't expect me. Come on, let's go. Hello. She's leaving now. No, she does not look upset. She has no baggage. I'm quite certain. Yes, she's quite alone. She has driven off in her car. Ahead. Citrus Export Company. Are the offices there as well? Everything's there, and it's probably guarded. Let's try our look at the back. Let me go first. You never know what sort of a reception we might get. We'll take this with us. It could be useful. Come on. Let's see what's in here.
stay here. I'm going to have a look around. is not back yet. Yes, everything's all right. All the special crates are in the back. Yes, they're well out of sight. All right. Come on, get on with your work. Special crates, huh? Take a look at this. I guess this is what we've been looking for. Special crates. Yes. 27 go out today. And they're somewhere here. End of the back. They'll take a bit of finding, won't they? Yeah. Let's start. Hmm? bigger than the other labs. Let's take a look inside. Oranges. But I wonder. Take a look at this. Here's your proof, Zena. See you back at the hotel. Get out of that. What is going on? What is all this? It's the American woman, Mr. Rosa. She's been here. She's seen everything, and now she's got away, and the door is jammed. Don't worry. She can't do us any harm. It has all been arranged. We've been very patient, Miss Fleming. But now we insist. You must stop spreading these vicious accusations about our country. But they're all true, Mrs. Sardi. I have the evidence now. Look. What is it? It's from the files of the Citrus Export Company. Where did you get this? From their offices. How? I can't tell you that. So, they have special cases of oranges. Is this all your evidence, Miss Fleming? No, I've seen the guns at the warehouse. <laughs> this is hard to believe. Well, then come and see for yourself. And hurry before they have a chance to get rid of them. All right. We must inform the police. Have you told them? Not yet. I came to you first. That was wise, Miss Fleming. All right. Show me this evidence, and you will have my complete support. Thank you. Ah, oh, Mademoiselle Fleming, Mr. Sade, this is an honor. You are the manager here? Yes. I have reason to believe your company is engaged in gun running. 
it is ridiculous. You have certain crates marked with a large X in the export? Well, that means nothing. I wish to inspect them. Of course. Oh, no, 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 Mr. Rosa. The ones we want to see are this way. Hackman, come with us. Zeno. Zeno, you back yet? It's Peter Brady here. Zeno. Zeno. Look, all these crates have the special mark. Why don't they open them? Open the crates, please. But I assure please you... Please open them. You brought me here on a fool's errand, Miss Fleming. I don't understand it. There were guns here. I saw them. I have no more patience with you. Please come with me. Just, just a minute, Mr. Sardi. Please, Miss Fleming. Need any more proof, Mr. Sadi? No, Miss Fleming. This is terrible. Will you please come with me to, to the office? Please, Mr. Sadi. Well? Oh, please, Miss Fleming, forget what you have seen. I'll make it worth your while. Five thousand dollars? Oh, ten thousand. Don't be sick. Where are you going? I'm taking the first plane back to New York. And I'm recalling the commission as well. No one will believe you. Oh, it's not just my word this time. Don't forget I have Mr. Sardi as a don't witness, too. Don't count on that, Miss Fleming. I don't understand. First, I had to find out if we could bribe you into silence. But uh, we've no success, it seems. You mean you knew about this all the time? I'm not as stupid as you, Miss Fleming. I realize that if people are determined to buy guns, they'll get them. Why should we turn our backs on the money offered? Hand back. Passport. No. Let us be on the safe side. We must have proof that she left Berkeley before she disappears. You can't... You know what to do with a passport? Yes. Then get back to her hotel and destroy all evidence she was ever there. Zina Fleming. I understand. So don't forget, she's left the country. Is that clear? Yes, Mr. Rosa. Hello, reception. Has Miss Fleming come back to the hotel yet? Miss Fleming? She's gone, sir. You mean she's left the country? Yes, she left the country by air. Are you sure? Quite sure. Just one moment. Who's speaking, please? Never mind that. Uh, put me through to the airport, will you? Yes? What name did you say? Zena Fleming. Just a moment, please. I can't understand it. There's a call from Miss Fleming's room. Who is it? A man. He's calling the airport. Cut him off. Come on. She's just gone on board. Hello? Hello? Operator? Hello? There's no one here. Look! Malia, what are you doing in that bed? Who did this? The American woman. What? But there was a man in it too. A man? What man? I did not see him, but he was here just now, on the telephone. Look in there. Hattie! No, 
the body. Get her luggage. We must tell Sadi. He thinks the girl was on her own. Come on. You know you'll never get away with this. Why not, Miss Fleming? At this very moment, someone is flying out of the country under your name. When she gets to Rome, she'll disappear. There will be nothing to connect your disappearance with us. We've got our things. You must destroy them. Mr. Sadi, there is someone else working with her. What? A man. He was on the telephone, but nobody has seen him yet. The sooner we get this over, the better. What is he doing all this noise? Is all this necessary? She's only a girl, tied in a chair. He won't give us any more trouble. Oh, it's nice to have your back, Brady. Here, let me untie you. Oh, thanks. Leave the suitcase. Oh, okay. Come on, let's go. Head for the car. What has happened to Mally? Too. The airport, Cena. But I, I... Mr. Sardi is going to guarantee your safe conduct out of the country. Now he's taking your passport. I refuse... If you know what's good for you, Sardi. Yes. Yes, I, I, I agree. Oh, Monsieur Sadi, I did not know it was you, sir. M Miss Fleming must get on the plane. But uh, I'm afraid it's too late. Please. It's about to take off. This is an order. Very well. Follow me. I, I beg you to be careful with that gun. There is no need to use it now. Look. Look, she's safe on the plane. There's nothing to worry about. Please, please, it might go off. I... Oh. With the compliments of the company, madam. Oh, thank you. Oh, and, uh, Stuart, may I have another glass, please? I'm, uh, celebrating. Cheers. Cheers.